First, as we all uh, know very well, uh, there is a kind of very strong growth on the on the lithium ion uh, market, and uh, and the manufacturing capacities are increasing uh, very rapidly. Uh, that also means uh, what this this busy slide is showing is the is the growth related to the equipment business for the added manufacturing capacity. So obviously there is a, a, a very strong growth in in that uh, also. Uh, we also see that uh, in in Europe where we come from uh, the, the growth is is quite strong, and and uh, EU is making uh, quite. Uh, Heavy investments on uh, on the on this uh, uh, on the batteries in general, and uh, uh, this is of course uh, uh, the kind of motivation for equipment companies like ourselves uh, to look into this these opportunities, and uh, and uh, that's of course what we are doing. And I'd like to uh, share our our view on on this uh, uh, on the ALD for batteries topic. So uh, there are still several remaining challenges for the for the lithium uh, batteries, and and uh, here is a selection of of several of those which could be addressed by atomic layer deposition. So that's the ALD technology that we are talking about, uh, including the the, the 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 following issues. So one is the uh, solid electrolyte interface layer stability, uh, which is uh, an, an, an one of the one of the kind of big challenges uh, in the technology currently. Uh, another more for the future technologies uh, is the use of lithium metal uh, as the anode, and uh, and the dendrite formation related to the lithium uh, is something that can be addressed with with ALD. In kind of general, the particle cracking of, of cathode and anode on both sides uh, is an issue that can be helped with these kind of coatings, uh, as well as transition metal dissolution uh, is, is an issue. Uh, two things related to separator. One is the kind of poor wettability with the electrolyte. And the, the other is uh, thermal stability that can be improved with the coating. And in general, uh, many places where interfacial contacts are, are not great. So then next, uh, what is ALD? Uh, so here is uh, uh, on, the, on the left side picture, you see a, a drum and under that or below the drum, uh, there is a, a what we call a coating head, and then the other picture shows a kind of zoom in to the coating head, uh, which is composed of multiple nozzles uh, in kind of series. So there are several nozzles that uh, uh, that are connected to two different chemicals, and uh, and. Uh, uh, that when the web is tensioned on the drum and drum is, is kind of rotating, so the web is being transferred through this coating section under the coating head. And uh, what, what happens in, in this uh, is that the, the web travels through the coating head and is exposed to two chemicals, one at a time, and separated by, by perch uh, in, in between. So the, the chemicals as examples, uh, example here shown to how to make aluminum oxide coating, which is a very common thing. Uh, we use two chemicals, namely trimethyl aluminum. So it's the, it's the uh, green, more green and blue thing over there. And, and then we use uh, water as water vapor as the oxidizer, which is that yellow and red thing over there. So so this, uh, unfortunately, this is kind of uh, deeply chemical reaction. So so uh, uh, sorry about that. But uh, but anyway, what's, what's happening in the process is that these molecules, so TMA molecules, react on the surface. 
and they react as long as there are free surface sites available. And then the growth automatically stops. And uh, uh, after that, we have a purge phase, which in the world world, world means that there is uh, a nitrogen, there is a nitrogen uh, a purge uh, in kind of zone in between the two two chemical nozzles. And uh, and during that, we extract the remaining TMA gas molecules from the gas phase. So only thing that is left is, is the stuff that reacted on the surface. And uh, as a next step, we bring in the water vapor and that will react very uh, uh, kind of ag aggressively on the surface as long as the, the, the TMA uh, is, is still found. So as long as the reactive sites are, are available and again will automatically stop. And, uh, and uh, now we have generated one uh, layer of aluminum oxide and uh, the, the thickness of this layer that we just generated is about one angstrom, so 0 0.1 nanometers. So to, to get uh, uh, one nanometer, we repeat this 10 times and, and, and so forth. So, uh, but this can be just repeated over and over again. Uh, and uh, yes, and both uh, also, so after the water pulse, there is also another perch. So both ways, they are separated. Uh, the, the chemicals are separated by, by inert gas. Typical uh, process conditions are such that uh, temperature wise, we are typically around 100 up to 250 degrees C normally. Uh, Sometimes can be lower or higher, but that's kind of typical range. And uh, and pressure is is normally somewhere in the 10 millibar or 10 torr uh, range, and uh, can be even up to atmospheric pressure. But uh, but that's kind of the typical range. So under vacuum, but uh, by no means high vacuum. And uh, the the one unique, really unique thing about ALD is that because this growth mechanism is kind of surface controlled growth, it leads to, to basically two things. That first of all, the, the, the coatings that are made are very much pinhole free because building blocks that we are using are atoms and molecules. So they are very, very small and they don't leave much gaps between them. And uh, uh, so those are very much pinhole free. And the second thing is that they are very, very conformal and they follow all the surface features. So it works not only on flat surfaces, but also on complex surfaces, which in practice, again, for the, if thinking about the battery uh, applications, it means that we can coat ready-made electrodes with the porous layers on them. Uh, with the active material on them and uh, all the binders and everything. And, and then we can code it kind of through the whole structure using, using ALD uh, technology, which uh, enables basically the manufacturing using ALD in the battery manufacturing in a, in a very kind of normal fashion, meaning that it's, it's a world to world process. Uh, this has, basically two operating modes. So we can, uh, uh, the simple way is that we have a static coating head. So web is tensioned on the drum and this web is moving, but the, uh, the coating head does not move. So this way we can reach higher speeds, uh, but the, the film thickness is limited by the number of nozzles. There is also another way to do this, which is what we call oscillating uh, coating head. So uh, we have to run slower. So we are limit, more limited in the, in the line speed, but we can make uh, any film thickness that we desire. So there we basically are running the, the web more slowly and we are moving the, the coating head a little bit, kind of oscillating it. Uh, it st stays next to the drum, but it's moving a little bit back and forth uh, enough to expose uh, the areas to these two different chemicals. So this way we can uh, uh, increase the number of exposures and, and hence increase the film thickness. 
uh, in the our kind of standard system, uh, the oscillating way we 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 have a. Uh, if we are running at one meter per minute, we can make 10 nanometer film thickness, typically. It depends on many things, but that's kind of the rule of thumb. Whereas uh, with the static coating head, so again, the, the film thickness doesn't really depend on the line speed, but the, the highest speeds so far we have demonstrated are around 30 meters per minute. Uh, we have been at Benek, We have been working on the roll-to-roll -roll ALD for more than ten years already. Uh, we started with the small system, and then uh, back in two thousand nine already, uh, making kind of prototype machine, the, the TFS two hundred R. And then uh, we we started to move to real roll-to-roll -roll systems in two thousand thirteen and fourteen, two different generations of equipment, and uh, <clears throat> finally. Uh, now, a uh, couple of years back, we we uh, started the collaboration uh, with uh, with uh, E and R, uh, and and built the, what we now call Genesis ALD system together. So that's our kind of joint offering. Now, in addition to the the standard system, we also uh, uh, provide customized production systems. All right, and back to what we can do with ALD. So, so uh, uh, we can make protective coatings on the cathode materials, uh, and we can make uh, the artificial solid electrolyte interface layers, uh, and we can make the passivation and dendrite growth prevention for the lithium metal and anodes. Uh, additionally, we can uh, uh, even make uh, solid state electrolytes with ALD. That's a little bit more complicated thing from the process process point of view, but uh, something uh, uh, that we are working on in the future. And uh, uh, then uh, also protective coatings on the on the separator films, polymer films. Here then uh, a couple of examples uh, from the World's Role ALD research work that has been uh, conducted uh, already by now. So here's uh, one example. Uh, and these, these examples not done by us, but these are from the literature. So this uh, best, uh, so here is, a, is an example of, of uh, depositing uh, titanium oxide in the roll to roll ALD mold on, on the ready-made cathode so that's the foil with with the porous layer on on that and uh, uh, the, the in this study best results were achieved actually with the high, highest speed studied there so 2.4 meter per minute and uh, and that's uh, well it was showing greatly improved uh, performance for the for the cell which uh, basically uh, tells us that the coating Actually, did penetrate through the through the poros network at this line speed of 2.4 meters per minute, which is a, a very interesting result. Another example would be for the separators. Uh, so here is a commercial uh, separator that has been coated with uh, aluminum oxide. Again, roll to roll ALD, and uh, uh, here the study was made on the on the uh, kind of temperature resistance for this. So this tolerates the coated film, tolerates much higher temperatures, uh, much better, which adds safety uh, on, on, the, on the battery application. Another example on the separator is, is use of uh, titanium oxide uh, ALD coating, and that not only enhanced the thermal stability, but also improved the, the wettability and ionic conductivity, uh, and uh, thus actually uh, improved the discharge capacity also. So kind of uh, multiple functions there. So these are just some some examples of, of, uh, of what already has been uh, has been studied and uh, and uh, of course, plenty of more work, more work to be done. Uh, currently, uh, really, the 
kind of current state of the art for the World Roll ALD is, is, is basically shown here. That's the joint uh, thing that we are offering together with e and R, as mentioned. Uh, that works on web widths up to 420 millimeters. And, uh, and the typical kind of speed range is from 0 0.1 to 10 meter per minute. Uh, can be used to deposit various different materials on various different uh, substrates or web materials, foils and such. Uh, and, and as mentioned, then uh, uh, this is the standard thing, but also customized things are available. So maybe to briefly summarize the, the, the presentation is that uh, we see ALD as really an, an enabling technology for future batteries. Uh, many things, uh, many ways how ALD can help. And uh, uh, this ALD actually has been studied already for a long time uh, for battery applications also, uh, but it's been uh, the introduction of technology to the industry has been quite slow. And one reason has been that there hasn't been really the, the equipment uh, available uh, on the lab scale, and uh, and now we are we are offering uh, offering a kind of straightforward path to to the production. So uh, uh, the good thing about this is is that uh, many of the applications in the battery uh, space uh, can use very very thin uh, ALD films in the order of one nanometer, which is very well su well suited for the world to world process. And, uh, and if uh, also kind of what we talked about earlier, that can, we can even use the, the static coating head principle and, and run faster. Uh, the uh, R&D and pilot scale equipment uh, like this already exists and, and uh, 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 we have kind of ready-made concepts for, for much larger systems as well. Uh, finally, a couple of words about uh, our company, so Benek, we are a company coming from Finland, uh, which is where actually ALD technology was also uh, invented. So, and uh, in, the, in this picture is the home of ALD, which is our headquarters. Uh, the, our company was founded in 2005, uh, and uh, we have acquired another ALD kind of related company in 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 the uh, in later years and uh, and that's that's really bringing us to the very invention of the of the LD technology anyways uh, that's our really our headquarters we have uh, in that building we have more than 40 production scale ALD systems running all the time uh, as a company we are currently about 180 people and growing very rapidly uh, revenue, Last year was about uh, 30 million uh, euros, and uh, and uh, this year significant growth. Uh, so so that's uh, that's really who we are. And uh, for more information, of course, you can visit our website or E and R website. Or also, so since uh, due to the travel restrictions, unfortunately, we couldn't make it physically there this time, but. Uh, uh, as far as we know, E and R booth is is still going to be there. So, in case that's the, that's true, so you can stop by there and and uh, and get more information from there as well. Thank you very much for your attention.